Fraffy Radio, this is Chiara Nicoletti from the 75th uh, Venice International Film Festival. I'm in company of Jacques Odiar and John C. Riley. We are here uh, to present, sorry, I'm totally forgetting <laughs> the title. Sorry. The Sisters Brothers. The Sisters Brothers, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the last interview of the day, uh, it's affecting me. So, first of all, a series of first times for you, Jacques, the first time you do a film in English, the yes. first time the first time you do a Western, and from what I read, the first time that it's not your initial, I initial idea because it was John Cirali who pitched it to you. So, how was it? Donc, euh, c'était pas mon idée à vous aussi. Donc, euh, comment comment s'est né ce, ce projet euh, bah, Parce que, euh, euh, que à un moment donné, c'était étrange. Même si c'est John et, et, et Alison qui m'ont amené le livre, euh, j'ai tellement aimé le livre de, de Patrick De Witt qu'à un moment donné, j'ai euh, j'en ai, ai fait mon idée. C'est longtemps après que je me suis que je me suis souvenu que c'était une commande. So in the beginning, uh, yeah, um, it was John who bring me uh, the book, but then uh, time passed by and uh, it became a, an idea of mine. Mm, I read in the press notes that she said uh, they're all cowboys, but deep down they're 12 years old. And that's the beauty of the film, right? And, then, and from your character especially. You can see, I don't want to say tenderness, but there's also tenderness at this, the, the coming back to family, to the roads, to the mother. So how did you balance all that in your character? Because I found that in your character, you can see that, that coming back home, let's say that. Well, I didn't, I wasn't thinking like, I need to balance all these mm -hmm. things when I was working. It's only in retrospect that we look at all of these themes and, and these ideas, I think I really relied on Jacques every day to make sure that I was focused in the right direction. But it's interesting that people are noticing the sort of uh, stunted growth of Eli and Charlie because it reminds me almost of like child soldiers in Africa. You know, when you press a 10 year old into murder before they've developed empathy, before they even have grown fully, it, it's very traumatic and it tends to keep people in this in the same place. And so if in the situation of Eli and Charlie, they only ever had each other. So like two people moving through the world where everything else is strange to them, you know? Mm -hmm. So this idea of this initial trauma of having to kill their father, um, they carry it with them every day, you know? And they, they choose a, the profession of murder because it seems to be what they're good at. Um, so yeah, I think in a way it gives a, some, I, th I feel when I watch the film, it gives you sympathy for these two murderers because you see them as children once you understand their story. What do you think that your character let his uh, younger brother to, uh, let's say, lead the, the two? Why does he let the younger yeah. brother lead what the two? Uh, low self-esteem. Uh, <laughs> 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 and also... You know, Charlie asserts himself in our story as a child. He asserts himself by killing the father. And so Eli is sort of dispossessed of his leadership position of the older brother as a, as a result of that act. So in a way, I think he's always deferring to Charlie, even though they work as a team. He's always kind of deferring to Charlie's temper and his violence and his moods. And so I think that's all in a piece of the character. Uh, Jacques... Uh, talking about the balance uh, I was discussing with John, I found that you found your way of mixing the Western genre with other genres and with, as I was mentioning, tenderness and uh, you know all these other themes that they are not particularly linked to the Western genre. So, how did you balance those those themes and what was your initial like general idea or? Or this combination. C'est pas un genre, c'est pas du genre pur western. Il y a d'autres influences. Oui. C'est vrai que pour moi, comment le, j ai, j ai, comment je, je connais quand même un peu le western, même si j'ai pas une connaissance érudite du western. Après, je sais pas si j'ai été vraiment touché par les westerns. Alors donc, euh, mon intérêt va se porter ailleurs. Et, euh, Et en fait, quand je pense, quand je pense au film avec John, pour moi, la, la question du western se posait euh, en termes de, de, de films historiques, de films en costume. Okay. Et, et, si, et, et en termes de genre, c'était plus le conte que le western. 
So um, I know I know uh, Western Journal, but this was not the idea. Um, and then uh, when John spoke about me about uh, this project, I was attracted by other other part of the stories <coughs> and not mm, for uh, for the for the Western uh, uh, genre itself. So thank you so much. Thank Good you. luck for the film because it's a competition. The Sister Brothers, Jacques Odiar, John C. Riley. Thank, thank you. you. And this is Chiara Nicoletti from the 75th Venice International Film Festival for Fred, the festival inside.